Okay, so once again, uh, good day everyone. So for today, we're going to discuss about the e-commerce operation. So uh, across the in, uh, across any industry, operation is the backbone or the organizations and the functions that gets things done. And when it comes to e-commerce, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. No, it uh, it's one thing to sell a high demand product; it's another to get it into the customer's hands. So the success of a direct-to-consumer brand relies heavily to get it into the customers, as I mentioned, on its e-commerce operations from product procurement to distributing inventory to shipping customer orders. So the operation managers plays a key role in online brands growth. That means keeping a close eye on the industry, your competitors, and the needs of your customers to ensure that your operations can meet customer expectation and continue to grow. So to give us more details about the topic, let us all welcome our presenter. Go ahead. Thank you, Doc. Hi, classmate. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Doc. Um, for our report, Sir Jeffrey Ormok and I will be discussing e-commerce operation. I'm Melody A. Oksana Pupala. I will be discussing the first um, four parts of this. And this will be the e-commerce, e-business models and concepts, e-environment, macro and micro environment, e-business strategy, and e-supply chain management. First of all, I will be discussing first what is e-commerce. E-commerce can be defined as a buying and selling of goods electronically online. It's popular because many benefits of e-business internet marketing, electronic funds, transfer, uh, mobile commerce. Um, E-commerce business model, a business model is a set of planned activities designed to result in a profit in a marketplace. When you say business model, it actually refers to a company's plan for making a profit. It identifies the product or services the business plans to sell its identified target market and any anticipated expenses. Business models are important for both new and established business. An e-commerce business model um, it actually aims to use and leverage the unique qualities of the internet, the web, and the mobile platform. An e-commerce business model also is how your e-commerce business is structured conceptually in order to reach your customers and drive sales. Next slide is the eight key elements of a business model. The eight components of this are the value proposition, revenue model, market opportunity, competitive environment, competitive advantage, market strategy, organizational development, and management team. Um, for the value proposition, the key question here is how should the customer buy from you? Um, value proposition, this defines how a company's product or services fulfills the needs of the customers. Like the question ko kanina is what should the customer buy from you? And then what will your firm provide that others do not or cannot? Successful e-commerce value proposition, um, this includes the personalization, customization, reduction of product search, um, price discovery cost, and facilitation of transactions by managing product delivery. Um, for the revenue model, how will you earn money? Um, the revenue model describes how the firm will earn revenue, generate profits, and produce a superior return on your invested capital. Most companies rely on one or some combination for this one. Um, for the following major revenue models, for example, the advertising um, in Yahoo, um, revenue source will be the fees from advertiser in exchange for the advertisement, um, subscription fees from the sub subscriber in exchange for access to content or services on um, the transaction fees for example for the eBay's these are the fees the commission for enabling to or executing a transaction on um, for the sales it's an Amazon um, sales of goods information or services the affiliate will be my points of fees for um, business um, referrals Third will be the market opportunity. What market space do you need to serve and what is its size? For the market opportunities, this refers to the company's intended market space and the overall potential financial 
opportunities available to firm in that market space. Um, ano ba yung tinatawag na market space? Um, market space are the actual or the potential commercial value in which the company intends to operate. The fourth one will be the competitive environment. Who else occupies your intended market space? For the competitive environment, um, this refers to the other companies na nag operate doon sa same market space by selling the similar product. For the other companies selling similar product in the same market space includes both direct and indirect competitions or competitors. For the fifth one will be competitive advantage. What special advantages does your firm bring to the market space? Um, achieve um, this competitive advantage, this achieved by a firm when it can produce a superior product and or bring the product to the market at a lower price the most or all of its competitors. Um, the question would be what special advantages does your firm bring to the market space or is, it your, pro is your product superior to a cheaper or produced than your competitors? The sixth will be the market strategy. How do you plan to promote or to promote your product or services to attract your target audience. Um, the market strategy, the plan you put together that details exactly how you intended to enter a new market and attract new customers. Details how a company intends to enter a market and attracts customers. Um, best business concept will fail not properly marketed to a potential customers. For example, um, YouTube having a special network marketing strategy with, um, which let users to post content on the site for free. Um, for the seventh, it's the organizational development. What types of the organizational structure within the firm are necessary to carry out the business plan? For the organizational depart development, development plans describes how the company will organize the work that needs to be accomplished. Um, usually, um, work typically divided into functional departments. Um, for example, of this are the productions, and the shipping, marketing, customer support, and the finance. As for the company's growth, um, hiring moves from generalist to specialist. Example of this, eBay starting out from the person firm into multi-departmental um, large enterprise. For the eight will be um, management team. What kinds, uh, um, what kinds of experiences and backgrounds are important um, for the company's leader to have? For the management team, um, this, this usually the employees of the companies responsible for making the business model work. Um, ano ba yung nagko-compose ng strong ano, management team? Um, yung strong management team composes ng mga can make a business model work, um, can be um, can give credibility credibility to outside investors, um, has a market specific knowledge, and has experience in implementing a business plan. So the next one is the e-commerce business model. There are many e-commerce business models and are being invented every day. In this course, we will categorize the business models according to e-commerce sectors and technology. For the e-commerce sectors, an um, example of this is the B2B, the B2C, and the C2C. And for the other one, for the um, e-commerce technology, is the P2P and M-commerce. Um, similar business model appear in more than um, one sector. Example, e-tailer, um, e-distributors, some companies use multiple business models. Example is the eBay being to B2C market mark maker, um, C2C business model, and B2C um, m-commerce. Um, what is the B2C business model? B2C, um, is, this is the business to customer. We do have it three for the business model. It's the portal, um, the e-tailer model, and the transaction broker. For the portal, um, portal model offers 
um, users powerful web search tool as well as integrated package of content and service in all one place. Um, the revenue model for this one will be the advertising, subscription fees, and transaction fees. Well, for the e-tailer model, um, online version and traditional retailer. Electronic retailing, this typically refers to the activities related to selling um, retail products and services via internet. This also includes distributing your products via network of online retailers. Um, the e-tailers, the revenue model for this one is the sales of goods. Um, for the next one will be the transaction broker, site that processes transaction for customers that are normally handled in one person um, by phone or email. Um, primary um, value proposition para rin mag save time and money. Um, for this one, um, the revenue model for this is the transaction fees. Next slide is the B2B business model. We do have a two. It's the um, net marketplaces and the private industrial network. For the net marketplaces, it includes e-distributor, e-procurement, exchange, and industry consortium. Um, for the e-distributor, um, usually the supplier um, supplies products and services directly to individual businesses. It is owned by one company um, seeking to service many customers. For the e-procurement, um, creates and sells access in digital e-marketers, B2B um, service providers, sells business services to other firms. Um, for example of this one, medyo familiar lang ako ng, ano, since we are in a travel agency and meron kasi, kam, meron kasi kaming B2B rin. So, it is the business to business. For example, um, kami, nakikater kami ng um, mga visa processing. Kami yung um, nagdadala sa embassy or accredited, accredited by the embassy. So, meron ibang other um, travel agency kasi they are not accredited. So, um, kinukuha nila yung ano namin um, tawag dito kinukuha nila yung service namin para kami magpa-file for example ng mga visas nila so we will just um, uh, sinisingal lang namin sila ng medyo mas mababang rate compared to the other clients which is the yung normal rate lang so for the exchanges um, electronic digital market space where hundreds of suppliers meet a smaller number of a very large commercial buyers. And the fourth one will be the industry consortium or the industrial networks. Um, digital networks used to coordinate communication among firms exchange, uh, engage in business together. For the private industrial network, um, it includes the single firm networks and in the industry-wide networks. For the single firm networks, company own networks to coordinate supply chains with limited set of partners. While for the industry-wide um, networks, um, industry own networks to set a standard, um, coordinate supply and logistic for the industry. Um, ito yung kanina din discuss ko for the e-distributor, e-procurement, exchange industry, um, single firm networks, and industry-wide networks. For the e-distributor, the revenue model for this is the sales of goods. For the e-procurement, fees from the market-making services, supply chain, management, and fulfilled services. And for the exchange, fees and commission on transaction. And for the industry, fees and commission on transaction as well. Um, for the single firm, firm networks, cost absorbed by the network owner and covered through um, production and distribution efficiencies. While for the industry-wide networks, um, contributions from industry member firm and recovered through the production and distribution efficiencies, fees for transactions and services. For the next slide, um, the other e-commerce business model, um, the consumer to consumer or the C2C, uh, for example of this is the eBay. Um, for the peer to peer, um, this is the P2P, the private bay, the cloud mark, and the P2P anti-spam solution to protect yung mga email boxes natin. For the e-commerce, 
um, extends existing um, e-commerce business models to service mobile workforce consumers. Um, unique features include um, mobility cameras to scan the product codes and the GPS. For the next topic, I uh, will be discussing e environment. This is the macro and the micro environment. Um, difference between the micro and macro environment. Organizations operate operates a business environment that consists of different factors. The business environment is categorized as the micro environment and the macro environment. For the micro environment, um, business activities are directly affected. While for the macro environment, um, leaves an indirect impact on all business on a large scale. Um, bali dito, I will be discussing na uh, medyo palalawakin natin siya. Um, for the micro environment, um, this includes the suppliers, the customers, the competitors, the employees, the shareholders, and the media as well. Um, pag sinabi kasi sa supplier for the e-environment, um, supplier, syempre, they are the one that provides the sources to business like raw materials, machinery, or equipment. Um, their action can create an impact on the organization's strategy as they provide necessarily input for production in the absence of timely and adequate services, yung production process may delay. Um, that result in more production time and fewer sales, of course. Siyempre, pag na-delay na yung production, um, yung sales natin is bababa rin. For example, um, the marketing strategy of a business gets affected in case of increased raw material prices by the suppliers. It will, be, it will further increase the final product prices as well, di ba? So, it is a very much required to maintain a healthy liaison with supplier to gain a competitive advantage over competitors. Siyempre, ang marketing strategy for this one, dapat makisama ka naman talaga mabuti sa supplier mo so that um, you can ask minsan for a discount. So, siyempre, pag nakakuha ka ng discount, mas bababa yung price na pwede mong gamitin. So, advantage yun for you para, ano, baka kasi mas mataas, di ba, yung doon sa mga competitors mo. So, okay siya. So you have to have a good and a healthy and a relationship with your supplier as well. For the customers, um, siempre customers being the king of any business are the final receivers of the products or services. They are central to any organization as they contribute to generating revenue by attracting more customers. So, the marketing strategy of an organization is required to be focused on existing customers' retention and attracting potential customers by satisfying their needs and preferences. After sales, service, and more value-added services also um, play a key role in increasing um, the customer base. For example of this, diba, in today's digital era, most of the customers share their positive or negative reviews about the product or services of a brand on a different social media channels. Diba, alam nyo na, minsan yung mga influencers, ba kapag ano yun yung mga nagre-review ng mga product, kung okay ba sila or not. Um, these influencers, the buying this, um, these influences the buying decision of other customers as well because of a lot of people are using social media for different purposes. So satisfied and happy customer always increases the brand value of the business and contributes um, to increasing customer base and moral loyal customers of the organization. Next would be the competitors. Competitors or rival of a business can direct, directly affect the business strategies. Um, so, it is very much required to conduct a competitive analysis of competitors to a competitive advantage as well. Um, this includes the knowledge of their um, USP, the unique selling point of product and service offered, and also a business can remain in a competitive position by offering product or, ser or services better than the competitors. For example, Nito is the Wow Momos brand in USP lies in its diverse range of momos of different flavors that give it a competitive ad, ano, advantage over its competitors. 
For the next one um, will be the employees. Organization can be achieved um, objectives through skilled employees who are also expert in their areas by hiring right employees and providing adequate training and development opportunities to them. Organization can ensure access. Siyempre, pag, uh, success, sorry. Um, siyempre, for the employees, kailangan talaga natin ng ano, mga skilled employees para makaangat-angat tayo sa iba. For example, um, different department of an organization like in finance, in production, purchase, HR, can be more productive if this have a competent staff having adequate skills and knowledge in their respective domains. In case, um, incorporating new technology and organization um, to increase the efficiency of staff, of course, training on how to use the technology is required to be given to employees so that they can use the new technology in better and productive way. Um, the next will be the shareholder. The shareholders are those who invest their money in a company and also own share of it. By doing it so, they attend ownership in the company. Ultimately, they are eligible for return on investment on their share. Um, this makes organization um, liable to forward benefits to them from profits. Uh, organization also pay dividends to keep the interest of shareholders um, so to make the right balance between the stakes of shareholders and the own interest <coughs> is an essential aspect para sa organization. Example of this is <coughs> sorry, shareholders may ex an increase in their share in the organizational profit that can affect an organization in the future so better and strong relationship with shareholders are required for success for the long run and the next one would be the media of course as we all know media channels also play an important role in the way organizations market themselves um, media has become the Necessity of any business for promotional activities, alam naman natin yun, ang laki ng impact ng media, of its products and services. So, organizations are required to maintain a healthy relation and status with media people. Siyempre, pag okay ka, di mas maganda yung sasabihin ng media sa'yo or yung mga ano, promotions nila. And the company's negative image in the media may result in heavy losses. That's why organizations now have a separate PR or the public relations department to handle media-related activities smoothly and positively. Also, um, organizations need to find alternative ways to reach their audience or customers to create a positive image among them. For example, different media channels are being used um, for this, um, newspaper, for example, advertisements, television mediums, um, social media platforms like YouTube, um, Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram, and etc. While for the macro environment, um, the macro environment um, study is termed as PESTEL's analysis that includes different external environment factors or forces like political, economic, um, social, cultural, and demographic forces, technology forces, legal forces, ecology, and physical forces. Kaya sinabi dito, um, yung macro environment is, um, leaves an indirect impact on all business on a large scale kasi mas malaki yung sakop niya. Um, pag dinifferentiate mo siya, for example, the micro and the macro, um, for the definition, um, yung micro kasi, the micro environment is basically an internal or nearby environment of a company in which it operates. While the macro, um, the macro environment is considered as an external or general environment of the company that can create an impact on the working of whole business of the company. So, kanina din discuss ko yung six elements of the microenvironment um, as well as the macro also. Um, for the elements of nature na Manila, the nature of the elements for the micro, um, it is less complex and more 
specific um, generally generally um, industry specific factors while the macro environment elements are more complex and general more of regional national or global for the influence on the organization the micro environment the nature of the elements of the micro environment is less complex and more specific um, while the elements for the macro is complex and general, more regional and national or, or global. For the next slide, I will be discussing this one, a microenvironment and its factor and the uh, microenvironment and its factor. For the microenvironment, has direct impact katulad ng sinabi ko kanina on between business activities and associated with business at small scale. It consists of a different forces that are specific to a particular business and capable to influence the daily and performance of the business shorter than a period. Ito yung um, sinabi ko na kanina, yung six elements is the um, shareholders, customers, employees, competitors, media, and etc. For the microenvironment and its factor, a microenvironment of an organization is related to its general and external environment that impacts the working style, decision making process, strategy, and performance of the business. The macro environment is dynamic environment that has um, the changing tendency and it has an external factor that the organization can control. For the third one, um, I will be discussing, this is the third topic now, and it is um, e-business strategy. The outline for this will be, um, the first is, why the internet? The second would be um, e-business strategy. The third is determining competitive advantage. And the fourth one would be the implementing strategy. Why the internet? What do this technology have in common with the internet? First is the printing press, um, second will be the telephone, the automobile, the airplane, the television, overnight delivery, facsimile or fax, ito yung mga fax, um, fax machine, cellular phones, and personal computers. Ano nga ba um, yung technologies na meron na to in common with the internet? For the first one, the printing press, um, yung sa printing press kasi, this is the printed material. So, ang halos same ito with the internet, um, ma, uh, mass reproduction, unknown um, audience, um, wider geographical area, and one-way communication. For the telephone, um, immediate communication, interactive two-way communication, um, customer prospecting, actually um, wider ano, geographical area as well. For the automotive, um, planes and cranes, personal communication, wider geographical base, two-way communication, um, perception of above service. For the television, as we all know, syempre, um, mas um, wide yung sakop din niya ng mass audience, one-way communication as well, um, 60-second sound bites, um, first um, visual electronic medium. For the overnight delivery, of course, as we all know, um, medyo familiar naman tayo dito kasi lagi tayo nagpapadeliver. So, nagpo-provide siya ng immediate service, create perception of customer care. For the fax, uh, fax it, um, immediate transfer of um, latent information, above average service, one-way promotion, closer to customers, um, cellular phones, and personal computer. Uh, for the uh, cellular phone, mobility, instant access to customer, and above average service. And of course, um, alam nyo naman pag cellular phone, it is a 24-hour ano, contact. So, 24 hours ka, okay. So, for the PC or the personal computer, fast service, um, customer information, databases, databases, and instant communication. The next, um, what do they have in common? Siyempre, um, lahat ng sinabi ko kanina, ayun, um, lahat sila, merong wider distribution of information, um, uniform, inform, uniform information, assist in marketing function of the company, 
um, many were interactive, allowed the impression of above average service. They all have become standard of or in the industry. Next topic is the e-business strategy. Um, e-business strategy pa rin tayo, pero ito yung pangalawa. This is the electronic commerce or the EC. It's where the business transactions takes place via telecommunication network, especially in the internet. Um, electronic commerce describes the buying and selling of products, services, and information via computer networks, including the internet. Um, the infrastructure of EC is networked, um, network um, computing environment in business, home, and government for the e-commerce, um, for the e-business. Um, it describes the um, baddest definition of EC. Um, it includes a customer service and intra-business tasks. It's frequently used in ano, intercharge with the EC. Ang ano neto is the strategy. Strategy is the roadmap to success. Um, answers the question that what business are you in it. Um, strategy also determines how you compute with the market you are in. Um, it focuses on the company and um, unified their Ano ba yung tinatawag natin na, ano, na why an e-commerce pala? Sorry. Why an e-commerce strategy? Um, the benefits of electronic commerce. Ano nga ba yung benefits na nakukuha natin sa kanila? First will be benefits to organization. Um, expands the marketplace to national and international market, of course. Um, decrease the cost of creating, processing, distributing, storing, and receiving paper-based information. So, syempre, pag nasa, e nasa e-commerce ka na, so matatanggal mo yung paper-based. Ito yung iba na lilesan yung mga papers natin. For example, diba, sa mga ano na lang, sa mga SOAs na binibigay sa atin, minsan hindi na sila nag-print. So, um, ini-email na lang kasi ano na so parang napaka modern na allows reduce um inventories and overhead by facilitating full type supply chain management um the full type of processing allows for um customization of products and services um which provide competitive advantage to its implementers um of course um na reduce na time between the outlay ng capital and the receipt of the products and services um, supports business processes, re-engineering efforts, tapos lowers telecommunication cost. Um, as we all know, uh, the internet is much cheaper than the value-added networks, diba? For the second one would be the benefits to customers. Ano nga ba yung nagiging benefits nila sa mga customers? First one is enables customers to shop or to do other transaction 24 hours a day all year round from almost any location so dahil dito dahil nakakonect na tayo to the modern world hindi na natin kailangan na pumunta sa mga stores just to buy um, you can do it online um, 24 hours so anytime per day so provides customer with more choices so mas madali na bukod sa mas madali na siya ang dami pang choices na pwede mong pagpilian click click ka lang ganun um, provides customer with less expensive products and services by allowing them to shop in many places and conduct um quick comparison dahil minsan diba ang hirap kasi pumunta ka nyari um, sa mga nyari sa shops na lang diba pupunta ka tapos magkocompare ka magpapagod ka nyari pupunta ka na lang sa mall not unlike online so punta ka dito sa shop na to tapos scroll ka lang ulit dun sa kabilang shop so mas madali mo na siya ma-compare for example, for the prices, the style, kung ano yung mas bet mo, yung gano'n, mas, kung ano yung mas gusto mo. Allows quick um, delivery of products and services in some cases, especially with digitized products. Siyempre, dahil doon, um, alam nyo na, deli-deliver na lang ngayon, so mas madali para sa atin. Customers can receive relevant and detailed information in seconds rather than in days or weeks. Um, market makes it possible also to participate in virtual auctions. Mas madali yun. So, kunyari, pag may mga nag-auctions, mas madali na pag online, online lang. Allows customers to interact with other customers in electronic communities and exchange ideas 
as well as compare experiences, um, electronic commerce facilities, um, competition with results in substantial distance. The third one, ano nga ba yung benefits nila to society? Ano nga ba yung um, benefits ng e-commerce strategy para sa industry? Um, first, it enables more individuals to work at home and do the less traveling for shopping, resulting in less traffic on the roads and lower air pollution. So, alam naman natin, katulad ngayon, nung nag-pandemic, um, mas madami sa atin ang work from home setup, which is more convenient to us. Of course, less traveling, walang traffic, di ba ganun? So, mas madali. Um, allows some uh, merchandise to be sold at lower prices, benefiting the poor ones. So, ayun, um, since nag-aallow siya ng merchandise to sold na mas mababa yung price, na kayang-kayang bilhin ng ano, medyo um, yung sabi natin, bukod sa middle, yung medyo nasa lower ano rin. So, enable people in the third world countries and rural areas to enjoy products and services which otherwise are not available to them and facilitates delivery of public services at a reduced cost, um, increased effectiveness, and improved quality. For the next um, one, bakit nga ba? Bakit yung electronic strategy? Why? Um, it works 24 hours a day, offers a two-way communication, um, unlimited access, interactive advertising, and supports current um, businesses. So, the third one will be the determining competitive advantage. Impacts on competition, lowers buyers' search costs, speedy comparison, differentiation, lower price, customer service, um, digital product lack, normal wear and tear um, the next one would be um, determining competitive advantage um, in determining competitive advantage competition and electronic electronic commerce um, perfect competition and observations regarding competitiveness for the perfect um, competition it enables many buyers and sellers um, to enter market at a lead a little or no cost, a bal bale, no barriers to entry. Um, not allowing any buyers and sellers to individually influence the market since it is um, online. So, hindi nga naman nakakapag, ano to sa mga buyers and sellers, um, hindi nakaka-influence sa kanila. So, suppliers and buyers and sellers with perfect information about the products and market participant and condition. For the observations regarding competitiveness, um, the bargaining power of buyers is likely to increase. Um, there will be more um, substitute products or services. Of course, the bargaining power of suppliers may decrease. Um, the number of industry competitors in one location will increase. Competitive advantage can be achieved by um, first um, concentrating on particular um, market um, segments, offering products which differ from the competition. Um, product this is the product differentiation. Um, using alternative distribution channels and manufacturing process, and employing selective um, pricing and fundamentally different cost structure. The next. One um, implementing strategy. This is the fourth one. For the generic um, strategies, quarters give us a little more help in strategy um, formulation by providing three generic strategies which is successfully implemented and can allow a, a firm to stake out the defined position in the market space. These strategies are first is the overall, um, overall cost leadership the differentiation and the focus for the overall cost leadership um this includes the efficient scale um facilities um vigorous cost reduction kung ano yung ano na yun is the vigorous vigorous cost reduction this includes the cost control overhead control um avoid bar marginal accounts minimize R&D um minimize service and minimize the advertising for the second one the differentiation 
for the differ differentiation, the key, the key idea here is create something about your product that is um, perceived um, industry-wide as being unique. For example, of this is the quality um, in the delivery, um, create um, credit and terms, service, training, reputation, or the brand image, tech information, the actual product, and the price. Um, differentiation can provide insulation against the competitors because of the brand loyalty by the customer and resulting to lower sensitivity to price. For the last one is the focus. The focus, the key idea here is the focus on a particular buyer group segment of the product line or geographic market. For the next one is the competitive strategy. Um, in competitive strategies, offensive strategy usually takes place in established um, competitor market. Um, the second one will be the defensive strategies that takes place in the firm own current market position as a defense against the possible attack by a rival. For the third one will be the cooperative strategies. This includes the um, collusion um, strategy strategic alliance, joint venture, um, value chain partnership. Um, for the um, collusion, active cooper cooperation of the firm within an industry to reduce output and increase prices in order to get around the normal economic law of supply and demand. For the strategic alliance, partnership of the two or more corporation or business units to achieve strategically significant objectives that are mu mutually beneficial. For the third one will be the joint venture, a way to temporarily combine the different strengths of partners to achieve an outcome or value to both. Um, the value chain partnership, a strong and close alliance in which the companies or the units form um, a long-term arrangement with the key supplier of distributor for a mutual um, advantage. Um, to summarize this all, um, dun sa apat na diniscuss ko kanina, syempre, focus your effort, um, define your competitive advantage, um, have a clear strategy, of course, then, tsaka mo siya gawin. And the next topic will be the e-supply chain match management the agenda for this one is what is e stm why use of technology issues in implementation research methodology for evaluation and then next one will be the various research on e stm um, adopted to be different business sectors um, first, what is the ESTM? Um, the flow of material information, money, and services from raw material suppliers through factories and warehouse to end um, the customer. The collaborative use of technology to improve the operations of supply chain activities as well as the management of supply chain. For example, this one, um, so makikita nyo, di ba? Mauuna dito is from the supplier, after the supplier, pag kumuha ka na sa kanila, um, deliver na nila into the factory, tapos um, papunta sa warehouse. Pagka dating sa warehouse, for example, syempre may mga um, customers ka na, pwede distribute na yan, tapos end of customer. For example of this one, actually hindi naman talaga siya ano, dati kasi kami, yung dating pinapasukan ko is distribution company ako. So, from the supplier, kukuha kami, tapos i-deliver sa amin. So, uh, tama, i-deliver sa amin. So, after the warehouse namin, pag may kumuha na, for example, si SM, so, sa amin siya kumukuha before, tapos i-distribute na namin sa kanila. And after nun, syempre, pagdating kay um, SM, doon nabibili yung mga customers. So, the next would be why use of technology. Um, first, in inventory levels, firm keep track of their existing and um, needed inventory level as the system can provide early warning sign when the product is running low. For example, yung dati kong company is 
'di ba? Meron kaming system so pag um konti na lang yung inventory so makikita namin kaagad kung kailangan na namin mag-restock or bumili na ulit. Um, minimizing bullwhip effect, um, the collaboration present with electronic supply chain management can go a long way in minimizing the bullwhip effect, um, the distortion of the demand forecast along the supply chain resulting from inaccurate or inadequate information. Long-term relationship as firms open themselves and their information up to each other, they are forced to align their own strategies and goals. Para siyempre sa long-term relationship, yung mga firms um, themselves, um, um, ina-align nila yung mga ano nila, strategy nila para mag-come up sila sa ano, strong goals. Um, speed, speed and ability, um, ability, ability to communicate can be seen throughout the supply chain. Um, the cost, um, sa cost naman, it decreased in cost communication, carrying inventory, and customer service, and the others are... Um, it improves the customer relationship na nag-eliminate sa stock outs, encourages customer um, driven demand and efficiency in taking um, or checking the delivery. So, syempre, anyari, katulad natin sa ano, diba, sa mga Shopee, diba nakikita natin kaagad or natatrack na, natin kaagad yung mga for deliveries natin kung nasa ano sila. So, yun yung advantage kung bakit kailangan natin mag-use ng technology. Um, number three would be the issues. Um, for the commitment, a firm must be um, committed to using the system. For going past method of conducting business such as phone, fax, and written record, and um, insist, insisted relying um, on the automated supply chain system. It involves all the parties um, benefits of technology must be um, conveyed to all parties involved also tas sa data accuracy niya, um, the benefits can only be um, accurate through the accuracy of the data entered into and consist usage of the system. Um, sharing information, syempre, more information is shared among organization, the more it will become ano, beneficial. Um, other reliance, um, many have found that their supply chain strategy do not work when forced um, to respond to unexpected um, an ex expected events as inventory levels are minimized, there is less safety stock to handle emergency. Um, this emergency can come in many forms, a delayed shipment, syempre broken down ano, um, the track, a jump in demand, a natural um, disaster unable to adapt to change, the supply chain system are inaccurate and put um, their firm at disadvantage. Um, the research assumption is it could be effective communication between the customers and the suppliers, of course, um, valid for companies under consideration, not a comprehensive guide, extent of public information, for example, the fee and the premium. Summary, findings, and research, a little um, correlation between the firm's revenues and expectations, size advantage, of course, and insights on how smaller firms um, could effectively. For example, um, ito, pinapakita dito, papakita ko lang yung, for example, ito yung tatlo for the supply chain, uh, chain management, for example, in Toyota. So, for the local parts, ito siya, so receiving dock, PC storage, production, of course, the dealer, tas after, yung katulad na diniscuss ko kanina, um, ang huling bagsak niya is the customer. For the import, uh, for the import parts also. And for the next one would be the topology of systematic um, SCM management. So, for the internet, eto makikita niyo lahat ng mga nagamit for the delivery, ordering process, kung paano ginagawa, tapos for the delivery, ayun, so dito siya makikita lahat, pwedeng gamitan ng fax, email, so mas mapapabilis talaga with the use of this one. And the next, for the Toyota Chusho, ito na yung parang sample niya kung paano lahat siya nakakondak and nagagawa. And that would be all. Thank you po for the next um, three um, topics.
It will be discussed by Sir Jeffrey Ormond. Thank you. Hi, class.